standing mute. Sterling with J. Ryan Brown Law, and today we're talking about standing mute and what it means. You might have seen it uh, recently in the Brian Koberger trial. Uh, he stood mute or stood in silence when he was being arraigned, um, and he, so he, he stood there and did not say a word. What does that mean? When a defendant is accused of a crime, they are arraigned. They can, they can enter a plea of not guilty. Uh, if they pled guilty, the case would be over, right? So there'd be no sense for them to do that. Um, so at their arraignment date, they plead guilty. In Georgia and other places, you can also do what's called uh, standing mute, meaning you don't say a word, and the judge enters a uh, not guilty plea on your behalf. Uh, like I said, we saw this in the Brian Koberger trial, and it was all the talk, right? All over the news, Brian Koberger stood mute, stood in silence. He didn't say a word. Um, it's when he decides, I don't want to. I don't want to say I'm not guilty. I'm not going to say I'm guilty because then the then the case would be over. There'd be no need to even go forward. Uh, I'd be sentenced right there. So I'm not. I'm not accepting responsibility. I'm just going to sit here, have my lawyer stand right next to me. I'm, I'm not saying a word, and I'm going to have the judge mark down that I'm not guilty, uh, and, and it's recorded uh, by the court reporter. The judge enters the plea of not guilty for him, and uh, you can do that in Georgia. It's called standing mute, and I uh, just wanted to give you an update on the Brian Koberger case and let you know what that meant in case you were wondering. My name is Sterling with J. Ryan Brown Law. If you have any questions about your criminal case, give us a call at 470-635-1725.